I want to do candy apple red too. Okay. Oh man, they stopped them. They were just dancing for me. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> Surprise for you. you. Ready? Yeah. All right. I do. What look. Is it? Look at that. Taylor Swift sent that to you. Really? Yeah. For real? She did. Open it up. I'll Here. see what it is. Here, I think you have to open it from this way. Open it like this. This is gonna be so exciting. And guess what? What? She gave us tickets to go see her in concert. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, she sent me a letter. Yep. <laughs> it says A M B E R. And that's your mommy's name. Yeah. But look, she gave us she gave us tickets to go see her show. I see. Is that the ticket? That's the ticket. Is that the ticket? That's the ticket. Yeah, say thanks, Taylor. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> Are you so excited? Taylor, send me these. Mm -hmm. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. As you saw in that video, Taylor Swift sent an amazing present to Emma Rose and her son Bash. Now, you all know that um, Taylor Swift have been having issues with Kanye West and his wife Kim. You know that whole their history go way back from when you know basically Kanye stormed on the stage at the award show and all of that. They made up and then they had fights again. Okay, just you know not fifth go fight you know what i mean and so we all know that emma rose once dated kanye west and all of that so even though even though uh emma is a fan and bash her son is a fan and taylor is just being sweet people of course are saying oh no taylor is a snake she's not being sweet she knows exactly what she's doing you know they both hate Kanye west and they're you know uniting together and all of that stuff and it's like please don't forget Emma Rose was the one who left Kanye West and Kanye West went on tour talked about her on stage apologized wanted her back she was married a whiz didn't care never looked back and now he seems to be happily married with Kim so I, I just feel like Taylor is coming from a good place I wanted to get that out of the way before we get to the real reason why I'm making this video so of course you have people in the comments with you know it's ironic how it's only women thinking this is okay this is okay and sweet the men and no grown man would be okay with his son going to a taylor swift concert then y'all wonder why some of your ladies be with dudes for years and find out he he in the closet and he too like taylor swift concerts okay when people don't you know <laughs> formulate the sentences the right way you start stuttering it's like come on and this other person wrote he don't want to see no taylor swift he want to play and he's listed the game i've been noticed on that video he told his mom he wanted his hair pink he wanted his hair dyed pink shaking my head he's gonna grow up to be terry cruz in white chicks making my way downtown walking fast and basically went ahead and listed the song and then someone in here responded and so that that's like just a few of the comments and you know i'm not going to sit here and just focus on the negativity with all of the negativity also came positivity with people you know basically leaving comments you know he's so cute you know i want to go see her too that and that he's lucky and then people defending these ignorant comments are sad and what's sad is the majority are from black people you are the problem i legit uh, check emmer's page for videos of bash that kid is the most precious human being i hope he stays this pure forever another person wrote emmer and ways really needs to publish four videos with bash these short clips isn't cutting it he's such a sweetheart so there you go you have some you know positive comments it's not all negative and then you have this one a very smart kid but it's a no for me bruh why and this person responded to feminine what's too feminine taylor swift yeah she's a female so that's to be expected 
you know, laughing my off. You probably hit your son for crying, shaking my head. Bye, girl. And then the other person responded, you need to get rid of this <laughs> homogeneous ways of thinking when it comes to gender norms. That type of mentality you have is what plague the youth today. You go ahead and read. Go ahead and read the rest. Okay. So that's that. And then let's see what else people wrote. See here. A 10 year old boy, Taylor Swift. Okay, then. It's a person laughing. He's five. That's even worse. Most of the negative comments are from low lives who don't even have an, you know, Ivy pick off their own pictures. Laughing, you know, go ahead and read the rest. And this other person wrote when Kanye enemies link up. Like I was saying before. All right, let's see. Fuck wrong for trying to brand his kid. But however, Wiz needs to play a bigger role. Is all I'll say. He's too cute though. They have joined. They have joined custody. He plays a big role, and because his son, because his son, this person meant his son, like Taylor Swift. Exactly. That's that is so ignorant of her to say. That's what's wrong with kids nowadays. Growing up and not able. To growing up and not able to be their authentic selves because of this stigma we have created not only the black community but everywhere so you know you have people defending and you have people still coming for him all right so let's go ahead and read a little bit more here why is he so adorable what a precious little boy and this person we're just here for the comments and this one wrote it's all fun and games until he starts wearing lipstick and high heels all right, so that's like ouch and just really sad that someone will write that. This other person wrote so adorable and he's handsome, too cute, beautiful. Taylor, so you have the negatives and the positive. You know, I wasn't just going to focus on the negatives. And I'm um, go ahead and um, read the rest here. Let's see. So that was that, okay? So a lot of negative comments going on, but I decided today to, yes, a lot of people were me. But even though a lot of people were mean, you still had the good ones who were standing up for the kid. So that's good. Well, you know, after Emma Rose basically started reading comments on her page and then on, you know, the other blog pages, she went ahead and um, responded. So let me go ahead. She posted these on her Insta story. So I'm going to go ahead and, and read them. The first one she wrote is shout out to all of the hyper masculine men and ignorant dumb women that will call a five year old gay for liking Taylor Swift. All right, she continued. This is why young kids kill themselves, and this is also why our society is so bleeped up. All right, liking a certain type of music would not make you pick your sexuality, you dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't. P.S. My son just got accepted into the most prestigious private school in Los Angeles because he's smart ass and creative ass like his parents. All right. We allow him to be himself. He can listen to whatever music he likes. He can like whatever color he wants. And we let him be passionate about whatever his little heart desires. Okay. We don't make our son live by society norms. That's why he's so special. All right. Let's do better for the next generation, people. Grow the bleep up and teach your kids to love and not hate. So true. P.S. Regard, regardless if he's gay or straight, when he gets older, he will be around the most amazing, loving people that will support him no matter what. Amen to that. He also has more money in his bank account, <laughs> okay, 21 Savage reference, <laughs> account than any of you trolls could ever imagine. Uh, Emma Rose and 21 Savage deleted all of their social media images of each other, but she said that they just wanted to keep the relationship private because they are still together. But you know how it is in this day and age. Once the images are gone, people assume the relationship is over, but she said they're still together. But uh, let's go ahead and move on. And then, you know, F out of here. And case in emoji. So that's basically what Emma Rose, you know, had to say. And I'm on her side with this one, man. <laughs> Do you know how many, like, grown men that love, just love female artists? 
So because a grown man just love and relate to Jill Scott music, to the vocal Bible, Brandy music, to, you know, Lauren Hill music, that means that he's not a man because he listens to that type of music. I, I will never understand. Like, there's this five-year-old supposed to be in the video cursing and listening to rappers talking about killing someone. Is that the music he's supposed to be listening to? Like... Bash is very versatile. I mean, he goes from really, really old school to new school. I remember his mom taking him to, you know, meet his favorite band. And taste in music so i love that he can go from a taylor swift so i don't like you i don't like your kingdom case see what belongs to me you ask me for a place to sleep i'll be out and through a feast and so you know to old school music he's just have a beautiful soul and emma rose and ways are doing an amazing job so you know i'm glad that she addressed the haters but just continue to ignore them love and continue to raise your son because as you can see with all of the hate that came there were a lot of people that love him that love you you know and was supporting and you know in the comments so i'm going to go ahead and end it here my friend i love i'm wishing you all an amazing day remember to always have a god bless attitude which has been positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless